To start your first configuration, click the Start button and enter a name for your configuration and customer name. Then click the Continue button. At the beginning of the configuration workflow, you must first choose which type of edge devices you are using. You will notice that when you make a choice, the configuration tasks will change on both the top of the screen and on the right hand side. The top portion of the screen lists major tasks such as the configuration of an entire server. The right hand portion of the screen lists minor tasks that together make up all of the required steps for the highlighted major task above. When I choose the VCS control and expressway, another question appears asking if a traversal zone is set up between these servers. If a traversal zone is not set up, the task to create a traversal zone will be added into the workflow. If I am using third-party edge devices, an abbreviated workflow will appear with some reminders and a check to ensure your WebEx is properly provisioned. Notice that when we begin to fill in the forms on this page, the next button below was disabled, and that when all of the subtasks on this page are complete, the next button becomes enabled. The last choice is regarding whether you have a Cisco Unified Communication Manager in your system as well. Click that check button if this is the case. If not, choose no other CMR related servers exist in my network. At this point, you click the next button to advance to the next configuration task.